Coming up, is there such a thing as the worst sin? One sin that is worse than all the others? Well, there is. And I am well aware that some people differ. Stay tuned. Bible 360 starts right now. Welcome, welcome to the Bible 360 podcast. I am still your host, Keiston France, and people maintain that we can't declare any sin worse than any other. To God, sin is sin is often how it's expressed. In this view, the person who steals a staple from the office is committing as grievous a sin in God's eyes as a murderer. But most people intuitively, as well as biblically, understand that some sins are clearly worse than others. We are confident that God has at least as much common sense as we do. The God of Judaism and Christianity does not equate stealing an office item with murder. So then, what is the worst sin? The worst sin is committing evil in God's name. How do we know? Well, from the third commandment of the Ten Commandments. This is the only one of the Ten Commandments that states that God would not forgive a person who violates the commandment. What does the commandment say? It is most translated as do not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain for the Lord will not hold guiltless, meaning will not forgive whoever takes his name in vain. Most people understandably think that the commandment forbids saying God's name for no good reason. So something like, God, did I have a rough day at work today, violates the third commandment. But that interpretation presents a real problem. It would mean that whereas God could forgive the violation of any of the other commandments, dishonoring one's parents, stealing, adultery, or even committing murder, he would never forgive someone who said, God, did I have a rough day at work today. Let's be honest, that would render God and the Ten Commandments morally incomprehensible. Well, as it happens, the commandment is not the problem. The problem is the translation. The Hebrew original does not say do not take. It says do not carry. The Hebrew literally reads do not carry the name of the Lord thy God in vain. One of the most widely used translations of the Bible, the New International Version, or NIV, uses the word misuse rather than the word take. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. This is much closer to the original's intent. What does it mean to carry or to misuse God's name? Well, it means committing evil in God's name and that God will not forgive. Well, why not? When an irreligious person commits evil, it doesn't bring God and religion into dispute. But when religious people commit evil, especially in God's name, they are not only committing evil, but they are also doing terrible damage to the name of God. In our time, there was an example of this. The evils committed by Islamicists who torture, bomb, cut throats, and mass murder, all in the name of God, do terrible damage to the name of God. It is not coincidental that what is called the new atheism, the immense eruption of the atheist activism, followed the 9-11 attacks on America by Islamic terrorists. In fact, the most frequent argument against God and religion concerns evil committed in God's name, whether it's done in the name of Allah today or was done in the past in the name of Christ. People who murder in the name of God not only kill their victims, they kill God's name too. That's why the greatest sin is religious evil. That's what the third commandment is there to teach. Don't carry God's name in vain. Think about it. Hey, I want to say thanks again for tuning into the show. If you enjoyed it, please show me some love and go on over to YouTube and subscribe to my page, Bible360 Outreach, and hit that bell right next to it so you know when I'm posting. You can also find the show listed in Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and pretty much any other podcast directories. And until next time, I wish you a very pleasant adieu.